In this lesson, we're going to examine a rule that is sometimes referred to as the Mississippi Rule. Now to set this up, let's first solve the following question. In this question, we want to calculate the number of ways we can arrange the five letters in the word study. One way to solve this question is to take the task of arranging the letters and break it into stages. From here, we can determine the number of ways to accomplish each stage and then apply the fundamental counting principle to get 120 different arrangements. Another way to tackle this is to apply the following rule. It tells us that we can arrange n unique objects in n factorial ways. Since there are five unique letters in the word study, we can arrange those letters in five factorial ways. Okay, now we'll compare our original question with this next question. Here we want to arrange the letters in the word nanny. Now for this question, our rule will not work because it requires the objects to be unique and in our question we have three identical ends. To show how this changes everything, notice that if we were to solve the question using the same strategy we used for the first question, we would conclude that we can arrange the letters in the word nanny in 120 different ways. However, when we list all of the possible arrangements, we see that there are only 20 arrangements. So as you can see, when we are arranging objects where some of the objects are identical, we need to handle the question differently. Now in general, we can use the following rule to handle arrangements where some of the objects are identical. The rule says that if we have n objects where a of them are alike, another b of them are alike, another c of them are alike, and so on, then the total number of arrangements is equal to n factorial over a factorial times b factorial times c factorial, and so on. Okay, let's apply this rule to our question. So in the word nanny, we have three n's, one a, and one y. In total, we have five letters. So the total number of possible arrangements will be 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial. This equals 20. So the letters in the word nanny can be arranged in 20 different ways. Okay, now let's apply our rule to a very popular question. Here we want to arrange the letters in the word Mississippi. Since we have several identical letters here, we can apply our rule. So in the word Mississippi, we have one M, four I's, four S's, and two P's for a total of 11 letters. Now to calculate the number of arrangements, we will plug the numbers into our formula to get 34,650. All right, let's summarize. If you encounter a question where you must arrange objects, be sure to determine whether the objects are unique. If some of the objects are identical, you will need to apply the Mississippi Rule.